Hey there friends of Great Wave, Don Chamberlain here again. So uh, here we are almost to the end of May. Again, it's just amazing how time goes. But hallelujah, look at that pond today. She's a beauty. Boy, the water's crystal clear. You see every little speck of uh, whatever on the bottom down there. There's their uh, soccer ball they like to play with. I don't know who threw that rock in there, but they sure have a good time with it. So that's cool. So right on top of the world, I must say I am. Got rid of the bloody string algae. Just have a nice little carpet of algae up along the sides of the pond. That's perfect. They like to graze on that. It's kind of interesting. I read and uh, had, a, had a friend uh, lecture me on that uh, about a week ago. Boy, all you really need to do is get your pond in, uh, in balance and you wouldn't have to worry about any algae and so forth. And uh, <laughs> I think what those folks forget is, you know, it's not just a question of getting it in balance. It's a question of keeping it in balance forever. And quite frankly, I think that's completely impossible. Especially with a pond, it holds true for aquariums, I think, as well, to a great extent, because they're such dynamic systems. And uh, but certainly with a pond, when you're outdoors like this, and you've got birds coming in and taking a nice bath in the stream, and God knows what sort of creatures come around at night, and in the air, and whatever's in the air uh, coming in, all kinds of uh, pollen and and. Uh, so forth. So uh, I think that's really a bit of a pipe dream, quite frankly. Uh, but it's certainly something to be strived for. And uh, it's great when it happens. That's for sure. So in my case, I got it in balance with some algae fix for a couple weeks. And then uh, once I got rid of the bulk of the uh, string algae, uh, my UV lamp went out, uh, or well, I thought the lamp went out. I ordered a new lamp and uh, put that in, and it uh, would come on and go right off. So I realized I had a ballast problem, so I had to order that as well. And in the meantime, of course, this whole thing turned uh, to pea soup for a couple of weeks. But now it's been uh, with the new ballast in there for almost a week, and that took care of that with no problem. So that's really gratifying to say the least. Got my wild flowers coming up here. Add a little more soften up this uh, curry sansu look a bit. And uh, we'll try to get these iris going in this little uh, spot here. This used to be where I, I had a, there's a uh, French drain down there where I used to flush the old bead filter. Uh, but uh, these days, of course, I don't, uh, I don't flush uh, anything quite that robustly. Uh, I do have quite a few little uh, nozzles down there, but I still have to supplement that. I uh, water that. In fact, I'll have to do that right after I finish this video uh, with my uh, can out of, the, uh, out of the pond. I put a can of water on those a couple times a day, and hopefully that'll get them going. And so, and so we'll, we'll take a look at the uh, North Shower and uh, fall, and it's uh, looking in great shape again. No more blankets of string algae on there. Just a little bit going on the side. That's, that's just fine. Nice natural look. And of course, here's my weed patch one of these days. We'll get some time to actually attend to this rascal, uh, hopefully before too long. And the stream is running nice and clear. A little bit of crud accumulating in the bottom there. We're going to flush that down the downstream here pretty soon. And uh, let the filtration deal with that. But everything's looking good and everybody's real happy waiting for the feeder to go off again. In the meantime, meandering around, see what they can come up with. And uh, enjoy this lovely, lovely spring day. And I hope you are as well. So stay safe and uh, happy core keeping.